Are you really living? Or are you just making a living? Think about it. Most of us are caught up in this 9-to-5 grind, wasting our days, our lives, all for what? A paycheck that's already spent before it hits the bank account? A title that means nothing to anyone outside the office? Let's face it, you're working to build someone else's dream. Every day you clock in, clock out, and watch your own ambitions die a slow, quiet death. But it doesn't have to be this way. Today I'm here to give you the cold, hard truth on how to escape this trap and finally find purpose and meaning beyond the 9-to-5 grind. Ready to stop being another cog in the machine? Number 1. Realize you're living someone else's dream. Here's the first thing you need to understand. You're not building your dream. You're spending your time, your energy, your life, helping someone else build theirs. And let's be brutally honest. Those higher-ups, they don't care about you. To them, you're replaceable. You get up every day, fight through traffic, sit in a cubicle, and do work that probably doesn't excite you. You do it all because that's what we're told is normal. They call it security. They call it a career path. But in reality, it's a trap. A cycle designed to keep you busy, to keep you from asking the big questions. They tell you that you're supposed to climb the corporate ladder, but you're just going higher up in a building that someone else owns. Think about it. How many guys do you know who worked 20, 30 years for one company? They were loyal. They were dedicated. And then, one day they were gone, laid off, replaced, and left with nothing but memories and a resume. The truth? You're just a number to them. And unless you start realizing that, you're going to stay stuck in the same dead-end cycle. So, what are you going to do about it? Number 2. Redefine success. It's not just money or titles. You've been sold the lie that success is about your job title, your salary, the size of your house. But let me ask you, how many men have you seen reach the top only to be absolutely miserable? To feel empty and lost despite the big house, the flashy car, the promotions? True success is about something deeper. It's about control over your life. About waking up with purpose, not just punching the clock. Stop measuring yourself by how high you've climbed in a system designed by someone else. Measure yourself by how in control you are of your time, of your energy, of your direction. I know a guy who was at the top of his career, pulling in six figures, but he was miserable, burned out. He quit, started his own business, and now he's making less than half of what he used to. But he's never been happier. Why? because he's in control of his life. He defines success on his own terms, and that is worth more than any paycheck or title. Number 3. Identify your true passions outside of work. Here's the cold truth. If you don't know what makes you feel alive outside of work, you're living a half-life. Your job is not your identity. The 9 to 5 grind has tricked men into thinking that all they are is what they do from 9 to 5. But real purpose isn't about a job. It's about finding what drives you, excites you, challenges you outside the walls of any office. Think about it. What lights you up? What are you passionate about? What would you do, even if you didn't get paid for it? If you don't know the answers to these questions, you've got some serious work to do. Because without that, you're just existing, not living. I know guys who live for their weekends because that's the only time they feel free. They get out, they hit the trails, they build things, they create. And they feel more alive in those two days than they do in five days at the office. If that's you, if you find meaning in the things you do when you're off the clock, it's time to start shifting your focus there. Number 4. Reject the allure of comfort and security. Let's talk about comfort, the silent killer. Society wants you to think that comfort is the ultimate goal, a nice paycheck, benefits, a safe routine. But here's the reality. Comfort is just a pretty word for stagnation, and a man who's stagnant, who's comfortable, 
isn't truly living. He's just existing. Every time you choose comfort over challenge, you're choosing to stay small, to avoid growth, to avoid risk. Real meaning, real fulfillment. They come from number ping out of your comfort zone. From embracing discomfort, taking risks, and challenging yourself. Think about the men who've risked it all, quit the safe job, left behind the cushy benefits, to chase something bigger. Yes, some fail, but they're alive, they're trying. And in the process, they find meaning, they find strength, they find purpose. So ask yourself, are you living for comfort or are you living for something more? Number five, commit to something bigger than yourself. Here's a tough pill to swallow. You won't find meaning if everything you're doing is just for you. Real purpose, real fulfillment, come from committing to something bigger than yourself. Something that goes beyond your own comfort, your own ambitions. This is about legacy, about leaving something behind that matters. You want to escape the 9 to 5 grind? Start by asking yourself how you can give back, how you can make an impact, leave a mark. The world doesn't need more guys punching the clock. It needs men with vision, with purpose, with a drive to make a difference. Look at guys who volunteer, who mentor, who get involved in their communities. They aren't just working for a paycheck. They're building something meaningful. And they don't need anyone's permission to do it. You can find fulfillment through giving back, through helping others, through creating a legacy. Number six, cut back on consumption, focus on creation. Here's the truth. Most men today spend all their time consuming. They're watching, scrolling, buying, endlessly consuming other people's lives, other people's content, other people's dreams. But real men? Real men create. They don't just consume, they build. They add value. They leave something behind. Stop scrolling, stop watching, stop absorbing. Instead, start creating. Whether it's a blog, a YouTube channel, a business, a book, create. Because in the end, consumption is passive, but creation? Creation is active. It's purposeful. It's meaningful. Think about it. Every great accomplishment in history, every story, every invention, every legacy was built by a man who chose to create instead of consume. Start small if you need to, but start. Start making something that reflects your values, your passions, your voice. Number seven, rethink retirement. You're not waiting to live. Here's a lie society loves to sell you. Work hard now, suffer now, and someday, maybe when you're old and gray, you'll finally get to live. This retirement idea is a trap. You don't need to wait to start living. You need to build a life you're excited about now, not one you hope to enjoy someday. Real purpose doesn't come with an age restriction. It doesn't care how young or old you are. The key is to start living, not someday, but now. I've seen men in their 50s and 60s start from scratch and find more purpose in those years than they did in their entire career. They stopped waiting. They stopped buying into the retirement myth and they started chasing their real purpose. You can do the same. You don't have to wait another day. So here's the challenge. Stop existing and start living. Break out of the nine to five grind, but don't just quit your job and think that's the answer. It's about more than that. It's about redefining success, finding your passions, creating instead of consuming, and building a life you don't need a break from. You have one life, one shot to make it meaningful. Don't let that go to waste. Don't let comfort, consumption, or someone else's dream trap you. Start today. Choose to live, choose to create, choose to find meaning.